Hi, so in this video I will be covering the topic of the margin in economics and this is a very important concept in economics so understanding what we mean by marginal changes is very important in understanding how we undertake economic decision making. So when we think about the margin we're thinking of the change in a variable which is caused by increasing or decreasing another variable by one unit. So it is how one variable changes when we change another variable by a small increment or by a marginal amount. And it's where this the margin comes from. We have a marginal change is a very small change. And if you're familiar with calculus and taking derivatives, that is pretty much the exact same thing or is the same thing where we're thinking of marginal changes but in economics, we're going to think at a basic level of changing by one unit when marginal changes tend to just mean a very small change, and this could be an infinitely small change. But to illustrate this, I will give a couple of examples because it may currently be a bit un unclear. But we think about marginal uh, changes in pretty much every variable we think of in economics. So one of these is marginal cost. And so this is the additional cost of producing one more unit of a good. And so this unit of a good is our different variable and marginal cost. Cost is our original variable, is what we're taking the margin of. Whereas this, uh, another variable I use in my definition, we're increasing our production of a good by one unit and that's our another variable and our marginal cost is the change in our original variable a uh, change in the cost so let's consider that we're currently producing 50 units and let's say just for simplicity let's say we're producing pizza where it costs us say 200 pounds to produce 50 units of pizza and so our average cost average cost well, it's going to be four pounds per pizza on average because we're just doing 200 divided by 50. But what we we don't really care about this when we're doing marginal costs. What we care about is the increase when we go to produce one more unit of pizza. If we go to produce 51 units, it's going to now cost us 205 pounds to produce 51 units of a of pizza. So what is the marginal cost? What is the cost of producing the 51st unit of pizza? Or maybe we don't need to say units, we just say our 51st pizza. Well, it costs 200 pounds to produce 50, it costs 205 pounds to produce 51 units. So our marginal cost or MC is going to be five pounds of producing the 51st pizza. And clearly this five pounds is different from our average cost. Uh, our average cost is just on average, how, what does each unit of pizza cost us to produce? Whereas we, we don't really care about that when we're thinking of marginal changes, we only care about what the next pizza costs us. And if we go on to our 52nd pizza that we're producing, and it costs us say 220 pounds to produce 52 pizzas, we'll notice that the marginal cost now is going to be 15 pounds to produce a pizza. And so we're going to maybe not want to produce our 52nd pizza because it's very expensive for us to produce. Why does marginal cost change over time? Well, it may be because we have to buy new equipment because our equipment is only set up at the moment to produce 50 or 51 pizzas, so the marginal cost is increasing. Maybe we don't have enough space to do it, so we're gonna have to spend the money a different way. But that's the concept of marginal cost. We can think about marginal revenue, which is the additional revenue of selling one more unit of a good, and we could do the same exercise that I've just done. We can think of marginal product, which is the additional output of adding one more unit of an input. And there are so many more marginal uh, variables we can come up with, and this is very important. And in future videos, we will see why it's so important in economic maximization. But hopefully this has been a useful introduction to the concept of the margin. It's how, well, it's how a variable changes by increasing another variable by
by one unit. So hopefully that has been made clear in this video. So please do leave a like if this was at all useful. That would be very useful for a small channel like mine. Do subscribe for future videos and check out the introductory economics playlist for similar videos to this one.